Typically we've been conventional till, uh, but the last number of years we've been switching our operation over to a minimum slash no-till uh, situation. Uh, most of our beans have started to get no-till into either corn stalks or wheat stubble and our corn has been getting strip-tilled into um, uh, soybean residue or, or wheat residue. Most of those acres are sand that was highly erodible and we were looking to, at ways to reduce the erosion as well as conserve moisture. Recently within the last two or three years is when we've started uh, no-tilling, strip-tilling into um, heavier type soils. We vary a lot in our soil types. We run anything from a, a sandy loam to, um, to a heavier clay type soil, some of which has higher contents of salinity as well as even a little bit of soils with some sodicity issues. Strip tilling tills a six to eight inch strip into the standing crop residue using coulters and or shanks. Where, where those strips are tilled into the soil, underneath is, it, it leaves a band of fertilizer uh, for, the, for the corn crop to use. The crop uses that fertilizer more efficiently versus previously when we were spreading the fertilizer across the whole area and then working it in. The main piece of equipment that we had to purchase was a strip-till machine. Our soybeans were able to be no-tilled in with, with the drill we used previously as well as our own corn planter. Uh, we fall strip till uh, as well as spring strip till. It depends on the soil type. If it's heavier soil and is able to hold the fertilizer, um, we'll do it in the spring or the fall of the year. If we are in a sandy situation uh, or we're grazing livestock on it in the fall of the year, then we will strip till in the spring of the year. If I was to start over with no-till or strip-till, the number one thing that I, that I would recommend to keep in mind is to manage your residue. That's got me in the most trouble with no-till, strip-till situations, is not managing my residue in the fall of the year. Using no-till changes the weed species that you're dealing with in your field. You're not getting the fall tillage applications, so Instead of having as many annual weeds, which are a lot of the weeds that we're dealing with resistance, like water hemp or kochia, um, you tend to deal more with winter annual weeds like um, horseweed or perennial weeds like um, Canadian thistle or dandelion, uh, weeds that tend to you know, maybe start thriving in the fall of the year when most people are tilling their fields. We're not doing that, so we're not reducing that type of weed, but we are reducing the annual weeds.